show. Here in the show, we talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly in travels. And um, it's interesting because, like, you know, um, well, maybe uh, three or four years ago, uh, I was in Turkey together with my husband. And so uh, a lot of things have happened, but, you know, uh, anything can happen in Turkey. Like, uh, I was even joking, like, how many... Um, Mosque, can you count? Because there are too many of them. So uh, our guest today is uh, a friend of mine. She has traveled a lot, and um, she is also a paramedic, licensed minister, and she's actually writing a book about how to uh, hear from God. And so welcome, Rene Sanchez. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so um, I asked Rene to come over here today so maybe uh, we can talk about Turkey because, like, you know, uh, Turkey has always been in the list of different countries which is popular for a uh, travel destination nowadays. So uh, mm -hmm. tell us, like, you know, how was your first experience with Turkey? Oh, wow. I, I love Turkey. Turkey is so beautiful. The weather is, is um, it's beautiful weather. The people are very warm. The food is delicious. And there's so much history. I, I love history. There's so much history. Um, being a minister myself, I'd, I'd love to see Ephesus, which is in the Bible, uh, which is in Turkey. And, and um, they have many biblical sites, but just it, the beauty of, um, of the entire country. Yes. So mm -hmm. how many cities have you been to? <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't even count, to be oh, honest. I... Went, I initially went on a 21-day tour, and um, I, I traveled around. So there's some um, areas in Turkey that I've been to. I, I don't even remember the names of, to be honest. Yeah, they're difficult to pronounce. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, based from your experience, because you're, you know, uh, usually uh, traveling on your own, I would imagine uh, there are some safety precautions that you are, uh, you know, taking because, like, uh, this is a Muslim country. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, when you're in Turkey, from my experience, um, make sure that you have long sleeve shirts and make sure that your, your legs are not showing. Um, especially if you visit a mosque, um, you have to have uh, a scarf like this to put around your head um, as a sign of respect. Um, so you should definitely be aware of that. And I would say safety-wise, always, always be with other people, um, other women, other people from your group, like never hang out alone. So uh, what are the, you know, uh experiences that you've had over there which you you know don't really regularly experience over here <laughs> yeah, so i've seen like uh, air balloons yes in that's what it is huh cappadocia cappadocia yes yes yeah. I've, I've been to, to cappadocia um the sea is beautiful um i love istanbul um they istanbul has a, a very interesting underground area that actually has like uh old Roman um, slash Greek type of um, architecture that still exists. It's underground. Like they, were, they even had like a Medusa head oh, wow. down there. They had columns, and and it was something that they they discovered years ago that was um, underground. Um, I love the mosaics. The mosaics that are on the ground from where they've dug up um, certain towns um, that. Um, they discovered over time. Um, yes, their rugs are beautiful. I actually purchased a Turkish rug. Did you oh. ship it here? Oh, I did. Okay, yes, okay. yes, it's it's beautiful. Um, yeah, so those are those are some of the things that I remember. Um, earlier, you and I were talking about the um, the place. Uh, hammam. I, I, yes, the hammam where they you go in there and they. They scrub you down with a very, um, um, uh, it's, it's like a hard bristled type of uh, loofah. Yeah. And they, they scrub your head and like you, you, um, you come out pretty pink, but your, your skin is, um, is looking good. <laughs> yes, yes. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because like, you know, you will feel like, okay, you've never been so clean <laughs> in your right. life. That's how I felt about it. That's and so, like, right. What I really like about it is like, you know, too much bubbles put in your head because like, you know, they want you, you know, to be very, very clean. I have no idea, like, you know, where did that tradition came from? <laughs> you have to be very, very clean. I have no idea. Is that a religious aspect? I've never learned about, you know, Ooh. what's the history behind it. <laughs> yes, yes, that's an interesting point. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, you know, as far as food is concerned, do you have specific uh, food that you really like? Oh, gosh, yes. Um, I love Turkish food. Um, I remember they had some type of food in a clay pot. Ah. And I don't remember the name of it, but it was uh, specific to the region that we were in. Um, the donars are good. Mm -hmm. um, their breakfasts are delicious. Like, I still have a sliced tomato with sliced uh, cucumber, a couple of fried eggs, some yogurt, and some olives for breakfast. And I do that now and then because that's what they did in, um, that we had that very often in Turkey. And um, it's delicious. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um I can't complain much about the food because like, you know, it seems like there's a feast every time that you're going to go and eat. Like, you know, they have a lot of selection mm -hmm. and, um, you know, uh, you cannot go wrong with, you know, choosing anything, you know, even though you don't know what it is like, you know, the, the food is always good. And so um, I also uh, like the idea that, uh, you know, uh, there's some places that, you know, uh, I think they have some pictures in some places so that you know you'll know what are whatever you're ordering. Because <laughs> yes. like, you know, sometimes you don't know what you're ordering because right. you don't know the names. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then um, the the you were talking about also uh, going to the different uh, mosque. Like, um, did you actually have uh, you know? A, visited like you know all the major mosques because like you know th there are many of them and they're like mm -hmm. the Hagia Sophia yes yes um on tour we visited many mosques and um the one that I love the most is Hagia Sophia um and I was really surprised because um it the Hagia Sophia is um Islamic but they saved uh, they they had discovered some Christian art, oh. and they saved it and and they show it on showcase and it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Lots of gold, bright colors. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, I, I remember uh, one of those palaces that I went to. It's interesting because like you know they said that you know um, there's a specific uh, Mohammed stuff over there i was thinking like wow how did they they even identify that that belongs to muhammad mm. <laughs> so like yeah you know you'll never know like you know what is in store when you travel around because like uh they have a lot of history so you never know what you're gonna be seeing over there and so unless probably have read beforehand like oh i want to see this because i want to make sure that i have covered everything that i want to see right uh, right uh -huh. And so what you call that, uh, do you still visit your friends if you go there? I have not been there in many years. Many years now, okay. Yes, okay. and actually one of the friends that I had moved to uh, the United States and um, we lost contact somehow. <gasps> but um, that's fine, you know, when I go back and, and if I go back, which I'm, I'm sure I will, I'll meet new friends. Yeah, that, that's true. Like, you know, that's the good thing about that. And so... Um, because, like, you know, um, did you have any, uh, you know, communication barrier over there? Like, I have no idea, like, you know, if you go to, because you, you travel a lot in mm -hmm. the different areas. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I would imagine in Istanbul, like, you know, people e speak English. And, you know, even if you go to the different hotels, the people speak English. But I was wondering if you walk in the streets. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, did you have a communication barrier when you were there? I think, yes, uh, it did happen, but I, I believe from my memory that um, occasionally somebody understood English. Ah. And because I was there for three weeks, I picked up on the keywords that I needed okay, to get okay. by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was okay. <laughs> 
Yeah, because like, you know, I asked that because like, I don't want to, you know, uh, I don't want to miss uh, my favorite chocolate with the hazelnut because oh. like, you know, they have, you know, uh, the best uh, hazelnut and pistachio. They have those kind of, uh, you know, chocolates over there. So like, yes. you know, I'll be wondering just in case there's, there's a communication barrier. Maybe I'll just point, okay, this is the one I, you know, I would like. Yes. <laughs> because, like, yeah, they, they have, uh, you know, good... Uh, uh, desserts, I would say. Yeah, they do. You're making me <laughs> want to go back to Istanbul, uh -huh, <laughs> back to Turkey. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, like you know, I think, like I remember, my husband said, like you know, that's one of the places that I, you know, I wouldn't mind coming back because, like mm. you know, they have a lot of uh, interesting history. My husband lo loves history, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, but he had an episode with that hammam. Like you know, he forgot his watch over there. Oh no! In a hammam, and so like one time. Uh, he uh, left his uh, tablet on a bus because like you know we oh. have to transfer quickly because like you know there was uh, some riot in uh, or protest in um, Taksim and so, okay. and so like you know the bus driver said I, I cannot take you further I have to bring you down and so like you know I told my husband we have to get down and then, like he forgot his tablet and so like he oh, said no. okay well, he lost two items then. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So, well, you know, um, it's interesting because I have had him here in the show uh, not too long ago, but he didn't talk about that. He talked about something else, you know, as far as like a travel hustle that he has encountered in uh, um, Turkey. But anyway, like, you know, I'd like to talk more about Turkey, but, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, next time you will be able to visit us again and, uh, you know, share us more stories. But uh, anyway, in the show, we talk about, you know, uh, the good, the bad, and ugly in any travel. So if you have had, like, different experiences as far as, like, you know, uh, some hassles that you have encountered while traveling, because, like, you know, things happen. And so, like, you know, we don't have any control. And so... Um, yeah, uh, we just have to like, you know, figure out how we can take care of these emotions, which has been, you know, probably bothering you and then you cannot just let them go. And so um, you can be your own Peter Greenberg or Samantha Brown or Rick Steves in this show. So come on, on over. And so like, uh, we'll uh, be happy to have you. So there you have it, folks. Thank you so much again, Renee. And I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.